This year, the Boston Marathon began on a solemn note as Mayor Martin Walsh and Roman Catholic Cardinal Sean O'Malley, accompanied by an honour guard of police, laid wreaths at the spots where a year ago two bombs went off, killing three people and injuring 264, marking the deadliest terror attack in the United States since 9-11. A group of dignitaries, including Massachusetts Governor Deval Patrick and the family of the youngest victim, eight-year-old Martin Richard, stopped twice along Boyston Street near the race's finish line before a memorial service held US Vice President Joe Biden, where a minute of silence was held for the victims. The blast, which tore through Boston on the 15th of April 2013, targeted the crowded finish line of the world-renowned race, injuring spectators, volunteers and athletes. Just days after the bombing, the FBI released pictures of the suspected bombers, sparking a statewide manhunt, resulting in the death of one police officer before the two bombers were finally cornered in a gun battle and one was killed. His brother was later arrested and is awaiting trial on charges that carry the possibility of execution if he is convicted. This year's race, set for April 21st, will take place under heightened security, with the 36,000 runners and tens of thousands of expected spectators facing new restrictions, including bans on carrying backpacks into the race corridor.